All right, hey, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be looking at a package I got, a bunch of pencils from an online stationery store called Jet Pens. Um, if you haven't heard of Jet Pens, they're great, go use them. This is not sponsored, obviously, I only have 30 subscribers. Uh, they sell um, everything from fountain pens to pencils and graphite and all that kinds of fun things and tape and probably other office things. I don't know. I don't work in an office. I don't know what they have. Anyways, you'll see this is already opened. I actually started recording this a little bit ago, realized I wasn't recording with audio, and decided I would start over. But I'm still pretty excited to see what's even in here. Let's start off with the first thing I can find. Ah, uh, yeah. I got some some boring mechanical pencil lead, so I probably won't talk about that much. There is a cool long point sharpener in there for wooden pencils, and I am excited to try that out. I have a lot of problems with a lot of problems with sharpeners in general. I don't know. I can never seem to get the point I want. Um, this is a red clutch pencil. I also got some Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi Uni lead for those. Um, I've heard it's really good stuff for doing art and such, so I'm excited about that. Ah, here we go. Oh, cool. These are all the wooden pencils I got. Um, oh, there's a mechanical pencil in here too. A little bit boring, who cares? Pencils are the best part. Um, this is nice because I mentioned in my last video that I was kind of scared that my pencils or something might get broken somehow, but uh, wrapping them together like this in a rubber band makes it a good bit, good bit stronger, and you know what, they all look fine, so I'm already plenty happy. Let's get this off of here. Alright, let's check these out. Um, I'll start with probably my the ones I'm least interested in, but wanted to try it out anyways. Um, let's see here. This is the General Writing Mitsubishi 900 in, in HB. Made by... Elab elaborate process. Okay, cool. It was an elaborate process to make this. I'm sure it was. Uh, I got this pencil because, I don't know, loads of people on the internet said it's great for writing and that they love it for writing. I don't write a lot, but it can probably draw well too, so I wanted to try it for that. Uh, step up from that, we have the Mitsubishi 9800 in HP. Um, this one's interesting because it doesn't have it doesn't have a finial um, like that other one did. And it says matured, established 1887, matured. So is it like 18 or something? Is it old enough to vote? Maybe. Maybe they age these, I don't know. <laughs> oh, sweet. So here is a Stadler Mars Lumograph, the normal one, not the extra dark ones. Those ones have a black body. Um, I hear on the finial it says this is a 12B. So I, for a long time, thought that the scale of light to dark was 9H29B. Because um, honestly, once you get around to those darker tones, you can't even tell that they're like not black anymore. But, however, looking on JetPen's website, uh, it turns out there is a 9 or a 10H and this 12B. So I had to get both of those because I was like, well, I've never tried a pencil lighter than 9H and I've never tried one darker than 9B. So 12B too. There, there is an 11, but I didn't get it because I figured, you know, that's a little redundant at this point. Like this is probably going to look as dark as any of my other dark pencils already do. And then I also got uh, this Tombow, this highest quality Dragonfly Tombow uh, Homograph Mono 100 in 3B. Um, oh wow, this has a really interesting finial on it. It's like plastic or metal or something. It's very, very fancy. I'm not used to seeing that on pencils. It's, you know, stuff, little details like that or something that are on all fount fountain pens. Um, but here it is on a pencil. A lot of words for a pencil too. I mean, I know that Tombow's the brand, that's like the line, that's the grade, but highest quality, I think they're just advertising. Uh, and then the, mo the pencils I'm probably the most excited about. Um, 
are these uni high uni mitsubishi pencils established in 1887 again the logo 10h oh and these also have like a plastic um finial on the end here that's really interesting i don't know if that serves a purpose it seems pretty solidly on there too that's cool uh so one of these is a 10h like i said the lightest one i wanted to try it i've heard these are really great art pencils so i should try them because i haven't i usually just use like stadler and derwent uh, this is a 2b i got 2b because i think 2b is probably my favorite just for general drawing if i'm just like sketching from out and about i usually get it get a 2b because i feel like i can get it pretty light and very dark when i need it to be something interesting i learned about mitsubishi um all these different mitsubishi products that i have i thought they were part of the same company that makes the cars it turns out that mitsubishi motors is owned by a bigger company that owns all of these companies that are under the mitsubishi name and logo however these guys are not um mitsubishi pencil company is also uh uni so like uniball and those products are these guys um it's just mitsubishi is kind of like an old family name i suppose uh it translates to something like three water chestnut leaves um there was some c conflicting answers online but the reason the logo and the name are the same is just because it's it's just old I, I think they they were cool with it being like a family name um, and you know letting other old brands and old companies that have been around for a long time to continue using it I think that's pretty cool um, though it's confusing because I thought these guys also made cars because like Yamaha does that Yamaha makes like pianos and you know everything else and I guess normal Mitsubishi does too they make like TVs and cars and I don't know probably blenders or something um, anyways I'm gonna sharpen some of these pencils with that long point sharpener I mentioned and test some of these out all right here we are I got all the pencils sharpened up and ready to go as you can see they have these pretty nice long long point tips on them uh, that long point sharpener I got uh, is awesome it actually works really well uh, I have another one by the same brand uh, kum k-u-m it's this two stage long point sharpener and honestly I don't know why but I think this just one stage just from nothing to, to pointy actually works really well so I don't know I'm pretty happy with it I will probably use this from now on I just I just want to sharpen and keep drawing right uh, anyways that sharpener is so so cool look at this hold on look how long this is this is I actually had the break this off when I was sharpening it because it it was starting to get down to the lead and I was I was uh, sharpening over my um, desk here and I didn't want to get uh, lead bits all over everything anyways I am super curious to start trying some things with these pencils I think I want to check out um, probably the stabler first uh, the stabler here just because as, as it is this 12b um, darkest I've ever seen advertised um, something interesting to note this is a German pencil and Mitsubishi is a Japanese pencil um, I didn't know this until fairly recently but I saw online that um, German and US pencils you know European pencils and stuff tend to be um, a little bit lighter in their grading and then Japanese pencils and other pencils in that area they all tend to be I guess softer and darker which I guess a lot of people really like that because generally that means that it's gonna write smoother um, that's something I kind of want to test in the future too is maybe just how how different you know, pencils are from different areas of the world and such um, because that kind of causes some weird inconsistencies in my collection because I have a bunch of pencils from, you know, different makers. So some of them are going to be like other ones and, you know, 2B is going to be like a 3B from this company and, and so on. Um, anyways, let's just try this. Well, okay, yeah, and the tip immediately broke. I figured that's what would happen because it is so soft. You can see how thick the lead is in here. It's got a much bigger uh, rod of 
pencil graphite in there. Um, and that's just because it's so soft it needs that extra support. Um, but it feels really smooth. It's really nice and it's getting pretty dark pretty easily. Um, this paper is nothing special. It's just white, it's not off-white. Off I have a lot of off-white paper and I hate it. It looks awful in pictures. Yeah, wow, it writes really dark if you press down. But it still gets pretty light too. That's nice, I like this one. I'll probably use that in upcoming drawings. Um, oh yeah, next, I wanna go straight to the other other side of the, of the scale, with the 10H here. So this is gonna be the hardest one. This was actually a little bit difficult to uh, sharpen because as soon as it got to the lead, it really started the, you know, the the uh, blade might be getting dull because of it. Um, anyways, let's try it. Try it up here. 10H. Yeah, it's very scratchy. It's very hard. That's gonna leave a lot of divots and stuff uh, in your paper. If you're like drawing tip down like this but yeah I mean it's super crazy light and I will say um, so the 9h that I have is a European brand and I think the 9h might actually be lighter than this um, let me grab it real quick here we are all right this is the 9h by Derwent um, I've got a super long, thin point on there. Okay, I guess they're pretty close. Yeah, I think the 9H from Derwent actually might be a little bit lighter. So, there you go. That's already proving that... Uh, Japanese LEDs are a little bit darker. I'm still not disappointed by it. It's really cool to have, you know, 10H in my collection now. So that's nice. All right, on to the next one. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, this is the Mitsubishi. The uh, the one that's ma been matured, I guess, has been living for a while. Um, so <laughs> if you haven't noticed already, I sharpened this on the wrong end. So that's where it used to say HB. Um, no longer says HB anywhere. Uh, it's funny because I just mentioned how this doesn't have any kind of end on it and like no eraser, no curved finial or these weird plastic caps the other ones have. So I totally just grabbed it and started sharpening it from the wrong end, but I mean, who cares? It's still gonna work just the same. Anyways, this is an HB. Let's see. HB. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's really nice. That's a really nice HB. That just fills so fast. Look at that, I could fill this whole page. <laughs> wow, that's great. Gen just for general writing, 9800, I guess it's like their premium writing pencil, I suppose. You could still use it for art, of course. All right, let's move on to the next one. I've got a few more left. Now let's look at the next one. Uh, General Writing Mitsubishi 900. So supposedly, I guess I stepped down from the last one, even though this one does have the like curved end, which I feel is more premium, right? I don't know. Anyways, this one is also in an HB for your normal writing purposes. H. Okay, so this one, this one seems like it is softer, even though they are the same grade from the same company. Interesting. I suppose maybe that could be with the other one being matured or whatever. Perhaps that means the, the lead mixture or something is older or more refined. I have no idea. This isn't bad though. I could see myself just doing some daily sketching with this just because it's, you know, I just could get dark really easy and um, see how light. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, I actually say it can't, yeah, it doesn't get quite as light as the other one. That's interesting. 
I have to remember that next time I use these. Um, okay. Interesting one I want to check out is that Tombow Mono 100 in 3B. I don't have any 3B, so that's why I got it in 3B, because I already have enough of every other grade, and I didn't want to get another 2B. I have more 2B pencils than I think I do all the other grades combined. Uh, but anyways, let's try it out. And you can see again, it is a slightly thicker uh, lead in here, just so it can hold together easier. And it, it's nice, it actually held that tip pretty well, just writing that. Tombow. I wonder what Tombow means, because they have this like little, like, dragonfly kind of like logo thing here on their, on, on here. Oh, I guess they have more wings than that, don't they? There you go. Really, I don't know, I really like the look of this pencil. I know that's kind of a stupid thing to care about because it's just a pencil, but um, it almost makes me like not want to sharpen it or use it all up. But you know, that would be that'd be pretty sad. All right, so it gets decently dark. I would expect a little bit more from what I think is probably a Japanese company. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. It doesn't doesn't really jump off the uh, <laughs> jump off the page at me too much. Um, oh man, that looks terrible in the monitor. It's reflecting light really bad. That's something too. Um, some pencils reflect more. I think it's because of how much wax is in the pencil lid. It actually kind of causes all of the lead particles to smooth out. Like when you're polishing polishing metal or something, you're smoothing out all the rough bits until they're all aligned nicely. So I think what's happening is all that wax in there is making it nice and smooth. And then it's just now a nice polished surface for light to bounce off, bounce off of. All right, and moving on to the last pencil, the one that I'm most excited about, uh, we already tested its uh, other brother, the 10H. Uh, this is the Mitsubishi Hayuni 2B. It's got that beautiful gold ring on there on the finial. It's a weird little yellow dot right there at the end. I don't know, really nice looking pencil. I really like the um, almost maroon color that they're using. It looks great. Anyways, 2B is probably my favorite weight uh, grade for a pencil. I feel like I can get, I feel like I can get just the, the right lines out of it that I want. Um, it holds a tip if I want it to. You know, I can get really detailed things and really light. I can already tell, yeah, again, since this is Japanese, just a little bit darker than the 2Bs I think I'm used to. Um, I use 2Bs from a plethora of different band brands, so I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite. I just really like 2B in general. Yeah, this is pretty good. I could see, I could see myself using this in the future. Okay, wow, it writes pretty dark, pretty smooth. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Uh, I do want to do a quick eraser test, just because that's something that's important to me. Uh, the erasers I use the most, if I need to erase a lot of stuff, I use this um, Sumo Grip Eraser. They're pretty popular. I think it's by Sakura. They make loads of art products and stuff. And then this is a Tombow Mono Zero. Uh, elastomer eraser, um, 2.3 millimeters says there on the end, so it's pretty small. This is what I use for a lot of detail work, or especially where like I just mess up a tiny bit, but I don't want to ruin the thing next to it, so I can use this. I just want to test it across some of these. Yeah, gets rid of the tin just fine. Definitely, ooh, definitely struggling here with the. Uh, with this 12, but I would have figured that you're gonna need you're gonna need to use something else or just pray that it comes up if you mess that up. Getting rid of this HB just fine. Getting rid of the other Mitsubishi HB just fine. Hmm. 
All right, a little struggle on the 3B, but that's, I mean, that's pretty normal with darker, darker pencils. They really push the uh, graphite into the paper, um, whereas the lighter stuff tends to kind of hang out on top. Unless, of course, you're, like, shading, then all the dark stuff hangs out on top and, like, literally falls off later. Yeah, these all erase pretty well. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, this eraser is great. Look at this. I can just get rid of all of that. It's just gone. <laughs> I love this eraser, but honestly, these pencils are great, and I think next we are going to make some kind of drawing with these, or at least uh, something, something that looks good. I think I can pull it off. I think there's a, there's enough of a range of grades here, you know, from the 10H to the 12, and a few in between, not a big range in between, but I think I can do it. All right, here we go, working on a drawing with all these pencils. Um, starting off uh, with the lightest pencil just to draw out the um, the framework for it, that 10H. Draws draws real nice light lines, easily erasable. Um, those are really nice. I From here on, I go from darkest to lightest, shading you know the darkest parts to the lightest parts, just, just as a little experiment to see how the different grades worked. Yeah, here I'm using that, that 12B. 12B is, it's so soft. Uh, really, I felt like if I was to do a larger full-size drawing and I was to use just this pencil for all the dark parts, honestly, I'd probably end up going through like half the pencil, like sharpening half the pencil off because it's that soft. Um, it feels really nice to write and draw with though, with it being that smooth. Uh, moving on to the Tombow 3B, again, using this pencil, I just, I just don't, Feel anything super special from it you know it works and it uh, felt pretty smooth um, drawing drawing with it I did kind of end up making the tip a little bit of a chisel on accident like really easily and then had um, a difficult time doing some of the, the shading because I didn't realize how soft this 3b really is um, again those Japanese pencils being softer than European and American pencils um, it just felt a little bit abnormal uh, this little weird drawing is was pretty fun. I just wanted to draw something organic uh, and quick, something that has you know some volume to it, so I could add some shading easily and just do some quick little experiments with everything. the The rest of the pencils, I move on to the HBs pretty soon. Honestly, they are incredibly similar. I can barely feel the difference. Uh, well, here's the Mitsubishi 2B really do like this pencil it's really good uh it's very close to that 3b obviously so i did i didn't really do a whole lot with it um, in this little drawing here because i just didn't really need to um this this drawing looks a bit lighter uh where the lights should be coming in than most of my drawings do but sometimes it's nice having a harsh lighting it i don't know it really it, it uh, having the lighting kind of fill out the shapes for you instead of the shading um, can always be pretty interesting. But yeah, these HBs are, are really similar. I, I, I still think I like the this one that says um, matured on it more than the, the 9000. There I go, I corrected myself finally. I said 9000, I think I said 900 both the other two times I referenced it for some reason, because the other one I say 9800, even though that's 9800. Um, I don't really know what those uh, numbering systems are for, uh, honestly. I mean, everybody has a different numbering system for their pencils or naming system and I don't know I just I thought then I thought the the 9800 would be better like best over the 9000 um, oh well it is I guess that is the 9800 I can see it right now never mind um, moving on I do have, I eventually do some very light final touches with uh, the 10h here again and honestly, I, I think it was just because I couldn't sharpen the tip down to the way I wanted. You can see, yeah, here I just, I sanded it a little bit because I was trying to get it to not be so, I guess, jagged. It was, I was trying to shade gently with it and it was just drawing lines because the, the edge of, of the tip just wasn't right. But yeah, just going in with some final touches here with the, the darker one, adding some, uh, some really dark spots with that 12B, which is super easy with how soft that lead is. And just a moment here, I test out kind of the tips of the pencils by drawing some like really thin uh, little lines here. Uh, I guess that's not coming up just yet. 
yeah, here I go, going, going, trying to trying to get in some light spots with that 10H. Um, it does work really well, but it's kind of hard to see on camera. It, bar it just barely picks it up if you're like really paying attention. Yeah, I, I wanted to test the tips of these pencils just to see what kind of fine marks I might be able to get. And it looks nice, you know, I, I was trying to make these things kind of look like weird little hairs growing on this maybe um, rotten pustule of a fungus thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have reasons for anything I draw. I just en enjoy drawing weird looking little things. And this was a fun one and these pencils were great to use. But I, yeah, I hope you guys like it. You know, let me know what, what pencils you want to see next, or if you want to see any of the other stuff I got in a video, I could make something about the clutch pencils or even the mechanical pencil if anybody is really that into it. Um, but yeah, looks like we're getting to the end of the video here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this really long one. You know, like, subscribe, comment. See you next time.